Hey, how's it going? I'm Nate, an Apple enthusiast and Mac hardware technician. Today we're going to see how we can solve a multi-touch not working within Safari or another app. The first thing I try is see if the iPad multi-touch is working in different locations. If we do realize it works other places, we can narrow down the issue to the possible application. The first troubleshooting step I would take is shutting down the device and turning it back on. If you're still having the issue with that app, such as Safari, go ahead and launch the app. Although it's not working, the next thing we want to do is try and force quit the application. To do that, the first step is click on the sleep wake button here and press it down until we see the slide to power off and cancel button. Once that comes up, we want to hold the home button for about five to 10 seconds, and this will force quit the application, allowing it to relaunch fresh, possibly getting rid of the issue. Next, we'd wanna launch the Safari app to see if the issue persists. If it does, the next step we'd wanna do is a restore. It'd be important to back up anything that you care about, such as photos or information on your iPad prior to plugging in and doing the restore. Once you plug in the iPad, it should automatically open. If it doesn't, go ahead and click on the application itself, iTunes. In the upper right hand corner, we'll see the iPad. Go ahead and click on that. On this screen, you're gonna see a few different options, including check for update and restore your iPad. Back up your stuff prior to clicking on restore iPad. This process might take about five to 10 minutes. If you still have issues with a restore iPad, I would recommend bringing it into an Apple service provider. This has been the way to fix your multi-touch within the Safari application on your iPad. Thanks for listening, guys.